Imagine a giant sinkhole opening up and sucking you into an unexplainable new world. Well, that's the premise of the new show, La Brea, where it's a thrilling ride right from the start. Take a look. People, we need to focus. It's going to be dark before we know it, and right now we need more water, we need shelter, and we need food, all in that order. I say we gather supplies, see what's in. He's right. We should spread word throughout the clearing and get everyone to help. And share everything we find. 100%. Why don't we each take a section and stay in groups just to be safe? Come on, let's go. Oh, and star of La Brea, John Seda joins us now. John, good to see you. How are you? Hey, hey, New York. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, this was a, a thrill ride to watch yeah. this show. It's action-packed. Um, you play Dr. Sam. Tell us about your character and kind of how you fit into this story. Yeah, this is a thrill ride. I, I play yeah. uh, Dr. Sam Velez, who is, uh, he has a military background. He's a doctor. He's a father as well. Uh, so there's a lot of different layers, a lot of colors that, that we can play with. Yeah. He falls into the sinkhole with his daughter, Riley, who's played by Veronica St. Clair. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, tell us about some of the other characters that kind of get stuck in this sinkhole with you, this mysterious world that nobody really knows anything about. <laughs> it's this prime evil world. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, it's, it's Los, imagine Los Angeles. It's, it's so diverse and, and there's so many different unique individuals, right? So imagine a sinkhole opening up and all these uh, uh, people fall in and you don't know each other. And yeah. it's like, you know, are, are there some you know, good will intention Unsavory people character. or not. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's all of us coming together to try to survive. Yeah, and there are many layers, layers to this, literally and figuratively, obviously. There's like <laughs> kind of this, this mystery about how it happened in the first place, this adventure as you're kind of seeing things you know, unfold, and then right. there's kind of this emotional element to it with how these people are going to survive and how they're going to make it down there. So what are we going to see kind of uh, unfold throughout this season? Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, this, this show, it's, it's huge. It's like a big, has a big blockbuster film feel to yeah. it. Uh, but I think at the heart, it's going to be these characters. I think the, the, uh, everyone's going to relate to these individuals, uh, what they're going through, what, what each one, uh, you know, it brings to this, this time. And, you know, sometimes it takes, unfortunately, it takes a, a, a tragedy like this for people to see themselves in a different light. Yeah. And, you know, how, how can they better themselves or, or you know, change in, in different ways? ways so I think at the heart you have all the special effects and it's the landscape is incredible we filmed in Australia and it's awesome uh, and and the visual effects and uh, the art department was amazing yeah. but at, at, at the heart of it it's going to be the these characters there's some real themes in there yeah, yeah. there's some really you, great drama yeah I, amidst the action and the adventure yeah and it, well it feels very cinematic when I was watching this it feels like yeah. a, a film quality type of show what was it like filming this? Was was a lot of this done in post, or was it just these amazing sets that you had? Well, like I said, uh, the art department did an amazing job. You you would walk on set and see these massive sets. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. It's like there's L.A. crushed down in this primeval world, and yeah. you know, so it was really easy easy for us as as actors to walk on set yeah. and uh, and just do our job. Uh, but there's a lot of there, there is a lot of visual effects, a lot of 3D, yeah. a lot of green screen. There has to be. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> yeah, you have, you have to react and kind of imagine uh, what you're reacting to. But uh, you know, we have such a great, great team of uh, directors, writers, and David Applebaum has just an incredible, incredible vision for this show. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, yeah, I'm excited for the fans to see it. I can't wait to see it. Uh, what happens next? But you know, I. I can't imagine that you won't have the same kind of loyal fans that you've had at Chicago PD. I think it's uh, a matter of time. Uh, but is there always an open door for Antonio to come back hey. to Chicago? <laughs> what do you think? Detective Dawson, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I've learned to never say never in this business. And I had an incredible time uh, portraying Detective Antonio Dawson on Chicago PD. Yeah. Chicago PD is a, a great show that continues to get better and better. It's, it's really amazing. Uh, the whole one Chicago universe. Yeah. So, uh, hey, you never know. I mean, you, you got us on Tuesday, La Brea, yeah. and then you got one Chicago Wednesday. You never know. You never, you never know. know. Maybe crossover moment between the two of them. Is that what you're saying? Hey, uh, you know, I don't know, but you uh, never know. You never know. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about a proud, proud dad moment. Your daughter just graduated. She's uh, going to New York. Now you have two girls in New York, right? Yeah, two girls at NYU. Uh, my daughters, uh, they're just, I'm so proud of them. They're doing so well. Uh, Haley and Maddie. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's New York. It's, yeah. I mean, New York is New York, so. It's the best place to live. Yeah. How are the doodles and poodles dealing with your daughter's oh, my, my, my doggies, Coco and Lulu. Oh, oh my God. They're on Instagram. My wife's, funny. my wife's like, you know, I don't know, who do you miss more, me or the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> 
I came home and they were doing backflips. It was just so, I, I missed them so much. I mean, they're the best. The, yeah. the dogs are the best. Yeah, any chance for us to get photos of really cute oh. dogs on the show, too. We take that up, uh, take that advantage of that. Uh, but it's been so nice chatting with you. And you can catch the series premiere of La Brea tonight at 9 p.m. on NBC. John, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah.